Hey everyone, welcome back to my playthrough of Control. All you beautiful bastards, I am ready to go. Okay, so today we are going to be doing some side missions because God knows we got a lot of them. We got to check on Dr. Underhill. We got to work on Langston's runaways from the Panopticon. We potentially will do the jukebox. We got to go through, uh, we got to find Arisha's friends, the Ranger buddies. We got to locate the mirror in synchronicity. And we got to clear the mold. This one's from Ati. This one, because Ati uh, gave us this mission, it takes priority. All right, so we got to go to the medical wing. Fast travel to the medical wing. Where is the medical wing? Is it down here somewhere? It is there, but we don't have, oh my God, we don't have a logistics, I guess is the closest to it. Wow. All right. Hope everyone's having a good day. I've been thinking about playing this all day. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so I believe it's just a straight shot north. Through security. And then we head left, I believe. Don't know if we passed it or not. I don't remember how we got there last time. Wait, we opened a door down here. We opened a door that had like level six clearance. No, it's not this. Ah, back here. And from here... Yes. This was the way, and I believe it was down... This way. If I am not mistaken. This does not look like the medical wing. I went the completely wrong way. Sorry guys, um, that's the way the turntables, so wait, I need to go to security and it looks like there's, there's some stairs. Medical wing, here we go. See, I know where I'm going. Mold's gotten in here too. Yeah, we knew about this, Jesse. Let's oh jeez. She said, cocking her gun. Alright. Let's go with fuck nuggets. Fight for me. Yeah, that witch is there, isn't she? What the fuck? What is going on? What is going on? What is that? What the fuck? I don't get 
get it. Oh, it's an object of power. Or an AWE, at least. I should have... I should have guessed. So something else is going on here. Oh, it's over there. Did I get it all the time? No, I did not. And now it's cleared. Alright, level 6 clearance. What does this get us? Alright, we got a cell. And we got a bunch of stuff in there. A bunch of stuff in here. Alright. Let's start off. Male, age 28. Returned from the astral plane approximately 13 minutes ago. This was his 21st dive. Damn. The patient is experiencing migraine-like pain. Intense pressure behind the eyes and partial blindness. He has Ooh. no recollection of his time in the astral plane and appears severely disoriented. Preliminary examination revealed no immediate cause, so we will be sending the patient for x rays and. What the fuck is that thing? Got it burst right out of him. Code Black! Get Marshall! Some came back with him, eh? From the astral plane? That's crazy. Come on. All the clocks have stopped at uh, quarter to four, eh? Where are we going? Still in the medical wing. I think we've been here. Yes, we have. So what did that get us? Nothing. Okay, so eradicate the mold. How do we eradicate the mold? Just keep coming back every now and then and kill kill stuff. Okay, they've gotta be down this way. But there's no mold. You are not the mold. You guys can fight each other. Yeah. Kick him. Kick him good. Kick him in the balls. Excuse me, sir. How dare you? That was rude as fuck. Oh, I didn't get this last time. Uh, so seriously, do I just come back? Ooh, another level 6 door. Oh, is this the mold he's talking about? How do I defeat you? This looks really dangerous. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, you know what? Let's go talk to Underhill first. Because she may have a way... To go through all that stuff. Uh, was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Actually, 
actually. Let's do this. Dr. Underhill. <coughs> I forgot where we went for that. Was it Central Research? Yeah. Actually, since we're in the area, I kind of want to go back to the luck and probability room again. Um, that room with the... Um, yeah, right here. There's got to be more to this room. Well, there's another room in there. There's got to be something to this room, because, like, look how much stuff we can interact with. Ah, level five. Okay. What is this? That is a light switch. Okay. That is also a light switch. And let me guess, light switch? Yes. Although it doesn't seem to be coming from the lamp itself. That's so weird. And we have a roulette table. Whoops. Oh, it's tied to that TV. Zero? Jesus Christ! Okay, that actually, that actually got me. I'm not going to lie. You get one control. Nothing really jumps at me. Uh, makes me jump like that. What is this? Two feet? Okay. I think I get it. Hang on. Lucky item manifest. Okay, bronze koi fish from China attracts abundance and wealth. Feng Shui. Feng, yeah. Horseshoe, Ireland, wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows outward. Maneki Neko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four-leaf clover, Ireland. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connections to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck. Wisdom, feng shui. Feng shui? I don't know how you say it. Light bulb, various. Documented game gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note, effects of items to be tested. Consider investigating the orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. For more information on ritual use, lucky actions to perform and avoid, and relevance to OCD behavior, see file, blah, blah, blah. What case file do we have now? The hand chair. Oh, the thing that we got. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects. Under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces, attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of blank. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Ugh. Found in a warehouse at Blank, Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. Multimedia. That would be the uh, medical examination. Okay, so... 
what I'm understanding here is we need to interact with some of the items. So, the four-leaf clover, does that mean that I take it or I leave it? So all the lights need to be turned on. So let's do that. What is this? Can't do anything here. I don't know what that means. Okay, so we need to get the fish. How do we get the fish? Do we just levitate it? Is this on? Oh yeah, it is on. Um, I think we just levitate it. That's good enough. Oh, and this light switch. There we go. Um, so I'll grab the the four leaf clover. Horseshoe, I'm gonna guess, is up. Has to be facing up, which it is. So let's grab this. So, the cat and the elephant are unknown. Let's try with the cat on. And the elephant not. And it says I must be off the carpet. Fuck is the phone? Oh. Didn't do anything. Okay, let me try it with the four leaf clover back there. Okay, so. Let's try with the... Let's try with both the cat and the elephant on and the... What's it called? Four leaf clover. four-leaf clover back. Yeah. I was just making sure those lights are on. So let's try now with the four leaf clover and the cat not working. Yeah, it stopped. I will solve the riddle of this room.
Wait a minute. Do I have to be on this side? Okay, that didn't work. Let's put this back. Try it again. So the only thing we haven't tried is if none of them are working, but I don't think so. Cause that'd just be that'd just be stupid. Okay, let me try again. Ugh. Oh my god, there's a thing. Holy shit! Finally did it! Wait, I didn't see what we got. Okay, so... For those of you that are interested, um... The elephant was not on. The cat was doing its little head thing. I wasn't putting the fucking shamrock over here. I didn't even know that was there. Um, I think we got points. Look, I wish you could see what, uh... I wish you could see what your... Like, what your... Not your prizes, your, um... Your rewards are. Okay, anyways. Uh, we came here... Okay, so we solved the mystery of the room. That's the important thing. I knew there was something going on. is another one. Oh, uh, it's gone. Of course it's gone. Um, you're right. I was going downstairs. Hey, you know what? I'll go the quicker way.
Too bad you can't uh, seize these guys. Oh, I. Is that it? That's it. What a mess. Sorry, Ati. Oh shit! Forgot I could fall, huh? Or float. Shut up! I think that's the new director. I finished synthesizing the samples. Oh? And what have you found? Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. So you promise I won't end up walking around covered in mold? Oh, the pill will prevent any biological infection by the mold. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go, find the source. I don't think we've asked these questions before. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but. Never mind. We have but we have less But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything is be questioned before the truth can emerge. No, we haven't. You could tell it's a different shade. So, is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue How is it outdated? that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course... Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. I mean, you're kind of acting like the one who wants to be the hero here. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time. Straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. How crazy is it that you work in the same building? I mean, Darling said he's been there for over 20 years. God knows how long uh, Underhill here has. And you don't, you barely even run into each other. How crazy is that? The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. 
I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks, Thanks Underhill. For the My pleasure. Okay, so where is the source of the mold? My family had black mold once. Bleach did the trick. Has Underhill tried bleach? Active threshold. Okay, so it might be to the left, the top left area. Yeah, it's only going to be back up. Whoops. Sorry. Again, me pressing B to exit the map when I just have to press up on the D-pad. Alright, boys, let's do this. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. So, yeah, it doesn't bother me anymore. Nice. I was right. Oh, jeez. Uh, well, here we go. Level 9? Holy crap. They're not super hostile. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note 7.25. Underhill sent us down this weird ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this um, it smells delicious. So I bet, I bet these are those guys. They just had to eat the mold. What are you shit you don't know about, guys? The further I go, the worse it smells. Oh, that just sounds yummy. Oh. Oh my god, that hurt. Uh, I'm gonna go back and get some health. Wait. What happened? What's going on? Oh, shit. sensible thing to do. Oh, man. Uh, which way is the right way? Okay, let's head this way first. Okay, this is a dead end. Looks like we just made a circle. Oh, never mind. Let's go, bro. Boom, baby. Wow, it's dark in here. And of course, I barely did.
Nice, an access point. Thought that was a dude. Alright, what does it say? Ramsey, Ranger Captain, note 7.28. Uh, wait, uh, 6, 7, uh, <laughs> Still in the fresh mold? Oh, he's straight up eating the vegetables now, because, well, why not? Mom said, eat your vegetables. Eat too many and your skin will turn green. Green like Ollie's. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Ollie, what'd you find now? So I guess they were already kind of out of it. What is that? Oh, it's a TV. Or a computer, rather. Well, this isn't creepy. Come on. Sorry, guys. I haven't been saying much. It's... These kind of environments always... Like... They're freaky, right? Um, I can't even imagine living in a world where stuff like this would happen. Like, The Last of Us, basically. Where just, you know, nature, fungus runs rampant. Is that the source? It's... Oh, man. Kind of pretty. What? Oh. Oh, my God. Why does everything have to have, like, an eye? Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Okay. Now I know why they gave us the access point there. Uh, okay. Looks like this guy is going to be a little bit tough to beat. Especially considering we're fairly underpowered here. Let's come back. Not that I don't enjoy a challenge or anything. I just don't want to spend all night here, you know? Uh, melee damage. I don't want more melee damage. Launch enemies. 50% to launch. I'll take that. And let's do... We can go back to the... Um, Go back here and try and eradicate the mold. In the uh, medical wing. Let's let's do that. Yeah, considering there's an access point right here at the boss, we'll just come back later. Um, we want logistics. These access points are lifesaver. Can you imagine just like going back and forth? Without a portal? Or a way to teleport, I mean? Then again, they do sometimes seem to be fair, like, pretty far between. Oh, of course. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Don't know why I pressed the map there. You're mine now. Deal with it. I missed. Didn't, didn't, count, didn't think of that, did you?
motherfucker. Every asshole's gotta have fucking rockets now. Of course, there's two bosses. Because why not? That was my own fault. Just standing where I was like that. Alright, let's go, buddy boy. Oh. Alright, alright. That was a good one. That was good. That was good. You got me on that one. Of your shit. Fucking impenetrable, because of course it is. Oh, fuck you. these games of cat and mouse. Yeah, it sucks, doesn't it, asshole? Piece of shit. Uh... Broke a wall. Cool. Oh, another one. I mean, I'll take it. Um, what was I doing? Right. Medical wing. That's the thing, you're trying to go somewhere all of a sudden to his fucking show. Yeah, we knew about all it, Jesse. Right. Let's get cleaning, she said, cocking her gun. Um Yeah, you try to go somewhere the his show up and you just lose your train of thought, you know? I hear chittering. So that actually counts. Uh, I saw another one in here. Ah. Just a little bit more. Oh, I see one there. One or two more. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here. There was more stuff down this way anyway. There was that room. I definitely want to go in there. Is it in here? No. No, 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 no. It was over here. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Okay. God, look at this fucking place. Wait, that's all that was in here? Seriously? God damn it.
Okay, so we're, we need to find those big balls of mold. There's nothing in there. So it has to all be in here. There was a... Would it be in here? No. Oh, there's one. Oh, there we go. All done. Yay. Um, yeah, let's head back now. So what should we do now? We can try and find the last, uh, the last runaway. So it's in the moving letters area. Dead letters. Um, through there. Right. Leave me alone, Hiss. Don't trouble me. Alright, fast travel to... Where are we going? Where the fuck was I going? Dead letters. I'm so absent minded today. That's no normal piece of paper. Strong fucking armor, bro. My gun's supposed to eat through your armor. All right, so. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? What am I doing wrong? I think I need to defeat all the hiss first. Oh, I almost had it. Fuck. I just have to wait until it lands here. Uh, there we go. I need to find the other pages. There's other pages? Your 
Okay, where could these other... I think I hear it. Are we in Dead Letters? Yeah, we are. Ooh, a room we haven't gone in yet. Fake Planes. Dear New York Tribune, airplanes aren't real. I figured out how they do it. The windows are TV screens. The whole thing moves on big tracks like a roller coaster that moves through underground tunnels in the earth. Airports are more like train stations. They do this because the sky is full of monsters that they don't want us to know about. The planes we see in the sky are the monsters. The government made the earth trains look like monsters so they could lie to us better. Don't contact me. That is one of the worst conspiracies I've ever heard. So it's probably true. All right, letters, let's go. Where the fuck are you? I hear you. Are you further up? I hear Ati's music. Is it through here? Oh, go to pneumatics. Eh, we're here anyway. Oh, jeez. I guess the party came to me. Anyone else? Oh, yeah. That was fun. Okay, mail room is this way. Any dead letters here? No. Oh, I'm so out of dead letters. Yeah, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Can't go that way. What was up here again? Nothing. Dead end. Okay, so how do I get up there? What is this? Just look at it. Eight inches oh, wide and capable of that thing again. A whopping eighty kilobytes. Woo! Eighty kilobytes, bro. Bruh. Bruh. Hey, we made it. Look at that. 
And there's a letter. Alright, before we get it. Smoking ban. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If your government traders, if your government traders can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker uh, slash rebel slash patriot. What's, what's smoking going to do? I mean, fucking emissions from the cars are worse. Same thing. Yeah. I gotcha. Should be one more page. So let's take a look around here first. Ooh, level four. White Kitchen. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you have dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently, I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence. When I'm in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on a strange dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. There's a creature in my fridge that yells the name Zool every time I open it. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I've become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it is not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they can make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Yours very truly. Lorraine Fitzgerald. How does this person get to the office? There is literally no way to get up here. Unless you could levitate. Was there a door on that side? Oh, there was. Um... I don't know, the paper is flying everywhere. I guess we'll explore this side. Pinstripe World. I'm a plaid suit in a 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 pinstripe world. Etc. Redacted. Etc.
Ooh, cheeky bastards. Seriously? Thought it would automatically come to me. No, you still need to be in the area. Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move. And I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop. But I said I'm sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing. Fo, do you see it now to it? Told me everyone is here. And I need to be careful so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast, but I can't keep going and I worry they'll forget about me. So I need to write you about this because I can't keep going, but the cat will because of its eyes. Redacted. Again, poor bastard. Uh, oh, there's more stairs going up. Let's get this first and then we'll I need to know where it's gonna end up. Oh, come on. Oh fuck. We'll just wait. Gotcha, you bastard. Done and done. Letters procedures. Blackrock paneling suppresses the item's effect. So it's written, love you, love you, love you. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single piece of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than blank and always in a blank direction. Zigzag direction? This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts. A fact previously believed to be an impossibility by blank. A proposal to take the item outside the oldest house and follow their movement to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Item was found in the Dead Letters Archive, where the herd, the herd archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the item in her archive of letters. I wonder if it was the very first uh, altered world item was. Our whereabouts. Hey, you have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a, is a sundial and almost also simultaneously a, and almost simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing, while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun and moon, sun plus moon, are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, where you, I, and humanity reside. Do it. Ponder. Let me know what you come up with. Vivid Dreams To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts, but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. That's weird wording. Ever since I was young, I had had intensively vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I've decided to seek help. The doctor says I'm physically fine, 
but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Bowker. You know, I've never really had, like, sleep paralysis or anything like that. Like, I've, I've had nightmares. Everyone's had nightmares. But I've never had, like... Yeah, where the sleep paralysis, where you're literally paralyzed, but you're awake. You can't wake up. Like, you can't get up. Um, and that just must be terrifying as fuck. Um, and I've heard all kinds of, like, strange stories. Um, I've, heard, I've heard all kinds of strange stories about people seeing things while they're, while they're paralyzed. You know, like... Um, What are they called? Like shadow people or something like that. Again, who the fuck knows, right? What is that? Oh, it's the remnant of the thing. Uh, okay, so... Let us... Let us fuck. No. What do we have left? So we have old friends and look at the mirror in synchronicity. Let's do this one. Jesse learns of a secure altered item in uh, altered altered either altered item chamber in the synchronicity lab. Uh, I didn't select it. So fast travel. Where's the synchronicity lab? You have to find it. Was it here? Was it maybe like a room I couldn't go to before? Oh, what am I doing? It's down there. Synchronicity lab. Uh, ritual division, I guess, is the closest to it. Sorry, I was looking at the top left of the map. There's still... um. There's still an area that's like uh, question marked, like uh, the top left side there by parapsychology. Maybe we'll go there afterwards, take a quick look, see what's going on there. Okay, so synchronicity lab. Let's see what's going on on this side. How much so far? Hey, that person's wearing a suit. Or whatever the fuck that is. Why is that, I wonder? Anyway. And a who's it? I don't trust you. I don't trust you either. You know what this looks like? Kind of. Well, not really, but it looks like the Ocean View Motel. Uh, one of the rooms. I mean, it's not the exact layout or anything, but it's got like all the same stuff. I'm pretty sure it's the same bed, same TV, the same picture, the phone, the desk, everything. Hmm. Uh, mirror testing. I'm guessing it's down here. Level six clearance. There you go. Why'd they keep an altered item here? Oh, great. There's a control point. There's most likely a boss. All right, let's look around here first. Debrief for mirror excursion seven C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside, Agent Hardy? Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. 
Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. So if he's speaking in reverse, I'm wondering if he can't understand us because we're not speaking in reverse. Or we're speaking in reverse to him. Mirror altered item. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Uh, the movie Oculus. Not that you necessarily enter the mirror, but Oc for those of you that haven't seen Oculus, that is a crazy horror movie. Really fantastically done. It's an amazing movie. Uh, this proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is a space a parallel reality? If so, we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through it into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is blank. It reminds me of the Mandela effect game. Um, where is it? Right there. What is this? Oh, that's cool. So there's that one. So wait, is there two mirrors? Or is it just one mirror? Alright, before I press those buttons, I'm, I'm just going to finish looking around. Containment. AI-60, the mirror, does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. Excuse me. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any blank blank, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind that reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. Specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side of the mirror. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Jared Gronson. Okay, so that means, yeah, we need a pattern to open the doors. Ugh, excuse me. We didn't see any signs or anything, did we? No. Alright, let's try. There's the mirror. Try the middle. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just have to look at the, the monitors. Looks like there's a mirror in there. So it gets raised. Um, so is that the left side or the right side? That looks like it's reflecting the right side. So the one furthest away from it is lifted. So let's do that now. Now this one. Uh, the 
first two are lifted, but the farthest one is not. That should be it. What a weird way to lock something up. Hey, look at that. We're actually smart. That didn't sound right. Yeah, that's not good. I so want to play these in reverse. Ooh, what's the writing like? Everything's backwards, yeah. Oh no, everything's backwards. Fuck. I can't even open these items. Um... I don't think it's these. This? It might be that. Oh, we get to hear what the guy was saying. What? I can't understand you. You need to listen. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you. There's something in that fucking mirror. Interesting. Ooh, we can explore. Alright, before we go, I'm gonna try... I don't think this is it, but let's try it, so... Um... Is that it? Oh no. That is so not it. Come on. Okay. So that should... Is that it? That should be it. It should be the opposite, right? You would think. Oh no, the sides have no have no shape. Fuck. Yeah. So that should be it. But if it's mirrored... Yeah, so that's exactly what it is in the picture. But nothing's happening. Yeah, I didn't think that was it. Anyways. Let's... Let's see what's going on. Or something. Did you see that? Someone's in there. Hurry. 
اثنين ومسير واضح anyone could understand that is it just is it's an alternate version of Jesse Seriously. I hear something. I hear tapping. This is actually really creepy. Like, I'm actually a little on edge. Great, we can't understand each other. That's not good. out she's on the move oh it's a fight Jesse against Jesse or Essage oh, of course she has rockets and I guess I could have rockets too if I wanted over there. Miss me, bitch. Help. I really need help. She's strong, man. Oh, 
Oh my god, I gotta do all that again? Hmm, weird design. Alright, hopefully the fight will just start. Yeah. Switch locations. It's not doing that much damage to her, right? Fuck. God damn it. up oh fuck that bitch all of them. that explains why they locked this mirror up <sighs> did it in one So what now? Do I just head back? I wonder what the Bureau was doing with this thing. Okay, I really want to figure this out. So that's interesting. This is forward. Like, this is written normally. So there's def this is definitely it. So the top is open. Or the top has the arrow. Sides are open. Bottom is black and the right side is black. Unless...
So if that's normal, that means this side has to be opposite because it's opposite at the top. So that should be it. Right? So, I don't know why, but it shows the side as black, but it's not black here. That's really weird. You fucking lied to me. And all I did was open this. Okay. Uh, let's take one more last look around before we leave. Just in case we miss something. This room is switched around, that's for sure. Oh. If I mirror it, oops. Okay, I don't know. Since little Topher is taking a trip with his father into the world outside our wonderful bureau, I think it's a good time to talk about secrets. Who can tell me what a secret is? Uh, uh, it's something you hide from everyone so they don't get scared. Partially correct, Topher. A secret is something you don't tell anyone outside the bureau. Because people outside the bureau... Aren't ready for the truth of reality. Very good. When you no tell interruptions. someone a secret, you're hurting their brains very badly. 
Now, let's review what exactly is or isn't a secret. First, we have a rainbow. Secret or not secret? Definitely not secret. secret. No secret. And the true version of rainbows? Secret. Correct. Cats? Not secret. secret. Correct. The fuck? And the alpine chimera? No secret. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Topher. Too many slip-ups and your father will have to go on vacation without you. <laughs> you don't want to end up like Meg, do you? What? What happened to Meg? Fuck. I'm not allowed to go outside anymore. Correct. I got really creepy. Mirror debrief. Oh, that's the one from downstairs. This one was called Keeping Secrets, right? Well, fuck. Good thing I went... Good thing I looked around. I would have missed that one. Okay, I think we're done here. I'm, I'm done with this place. back in there we can oh much faster okay so we could have still gotten the threshold kids thing regardless but I don't think I'll ever go back in there as fuck and everything here I wonder if I wonder if stuff here got destroyed Oh, wait. Is this a costume? Yo, sweet! Finally got a new costume. Well, we got the other one before, the, the P7. Wait, let me check the TV upstairs. Maybe there's a different Threshold Kids or something? Maybe I need to do something. I need to do the opposite. So this one's only the middle. And these three. So that means the middle here and these three here. Yeah, let's do that before I forget. Easter eggs, guys. We love Easter eggs. Uh, this one. I love how the mirror world is like all blue. Um, was it this way? Yes. So, these three here. Right? No. The middle one here, and these three here. Right? 
right? So let's put it like that and go to the other world. Maybe something will change there. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I, I, this might be a complete wild goose chase, but I love figuring shit like this out. This one first. No, nothing changed. Okay, I don't know. If anyone knows what to do here, please let me know. always come back to it. And then let's see the TVs here. Ooh! This is the same one. Father into the world outside our wonderful okay. Alright. It all led to nothing. But that's okay. Alright, let's head to Central Executive, because I want to check out the new the new costume. Ooh, abilities. Um Sees larger enemies when their health is low. That's why I couldn't do it. Yeah. Shield. We've still been using the shield. I honestly don't think I'll be using this ground pound, this ground slam. Because um, I don't think I'll be using levitation as more offensive uh, ability. Uh, some more health might be nice. Or even some more energy. Let's do health. All right, so let's go to Central Executive. Can even check it with Emily and Rish. Maybe they've got new stuff to say. Oh, we were gonna check out the that northwestern area in research. The the question marks outfits. Asynchronous suit. That looks nice. That looks pretty good, actually. Golden suit. When do we get this? I remember getting the golden suit. I remember this from the last episode. That looks pretty nice, actually. Let's check it out. Not bad. Oh, I can't float here. This is pretty nice, actually. I think I'll wear this one. Uh, Fuck, anything new, Rish? No. no. Anything new on your end? No. Nothing new around here, right? No. That's okay. That's okay. Um... Astral constructs. Anything new here? Wait. Oh, Jukebox stuff. That's right. 
Upgrade the spin, upgrade shatter, upgrade pierce. Uh, it'd be nice to maybe upgrade the pierce. Or we could construct the charge. I kind of like the pierce. Can we, yeah, we can't construct that. That's okay. Uh, can we upgrade this? We cannot. Um, so I did change the loadout a little bit. I, I added extra damage instead of the uh, damage to... Um, which one was it? Damage against enemy armor, this one. I took that just because S Edge didn't have any armor, so um what can we slot here yeah that extra damage i think i'll keep it uh reload speed eh. and you get from headshots okay so let me get rid of that get rid of that uh shatter spinning grip what is ammo cost per shot nah projectiles fired plus five to shatter uh, i don't really see myself using shatter nope nope Nope. Damage after kills. Damage after kills. So it's like a combo thing? Maybe. Nope. Nope. Accuracy. Exclusive shatter. Ammo cost while levitating. Nah. Blast radius. Damage while low on health. 91%. Almost doing double damage when you're low on health. But again, what constitutes low health, right? Now we can get a better one. Projectile speed. Um, blast radius. I guess I'll keep like the, the charge ones. I know I've deleted uh, or deconstructed some of them. Zoom. No. Damage against enemy armor. I think I'll keep this one up, Pierce. Wow. Can we... Damage against enemy armor. If one... Like, one, the first level is 34%. God damn. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, and these ones here. So we've gotten a bunch of new ones. Nope. Nope. Energy recovery. Uh, we have a better one. Nope. Launch. Nope. Mm, no. Energy. Nope. Sea speed. Nope. Energy shield. Nope. 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 And... This is a better one. There we go. Case files. We have a new case file. Oh, mirror procedures. All oh, right. The item should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space, it uh, is imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images. Some are blank blank, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a blank distance from the, from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Blank has been observed in the test subject sent inside. Believed to be psychosomatic. I'm guessing the reverse speech. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Okay, so what have we got in terms of the side missions here? Investigate the pit. Return to Langston. Let's return to Langston, just so we can turn in the, these quests. He is there. Uh, 
Uh, right this way. Oh, Langston, Fred boy. How do I get those fixed? Maintenance uh, staff will repair any damaged systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I found all those missing altered items. All of them? Yep. Wow, you have a gift, ma'am. But those weren't all of the altered items missing from the Panopticon. The hiss must be making them restless. We've had several more containment breaches. How many of these things did he lose? How many? Just a couple. Should be no problem for you. I really appreciate your help. Really. Just. Super. Shut up. Don't fucking... Oh my god, three more. Oh, the rubber duck. Finally get to see it in action. Oh, the mannequin. Oh, jeez. And the flamingo. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here. Like always. Oh boy. The mannequin. Um, okay, so... Oi. Get rid of one, we got another one. Let's uh let's try this boss again. I'm feeling a little little confident. Launch large objects. Hold and launch up to three objects. Energy now recovers while holding launch objects. Yo! Yeah, but look how many points that is. You know, this could be useful. And then we'll save up to get that one and that one. Okay, so let's head to um, active threshold sublevel. Oh yeah, we're gonna let's do that first but before we take on the boss, because I, I just seem to seem to I just seem to keep forgetting this. Um, I want to figure out what's on the left there. Although now that I think about it, it, might be below. No, I don't think there's any more to this sub area. I think this is it. Um. Yeah, and then we still have the ashtray maze and all that. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, right. We couldn't pass a certain area, could we? Yeah, there was nothing here. Was there a level 6 door or something here? I'm not remembering, maybe? Oh. Oh, right. No, this area is a dead end. Oh, wait. Okay, 
What sense does that make? If he tosses it near him, it doesn't hurt him. But if I toss it back at him, it hurts him. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. be someone else's problem. I dare you. I fucking dare you. I... Okay, so, uh, this way, potentially. No. I don't know how to get there. Unless it's like a wall I need to break or something. Um, how do I even get there again? Through here? That's where I came from. Right. So... I'm wondering if there's like a wall I can break or something. Be over here. Let's go try and find another boss. Um, bu -bu -bu. There. All right, buddy. Is that the source? It's kind of pretty. Beautiful. Um, 
Yeah, levitating is not, definitely not the way to go. The problem is it's really hard to maneuver in there because there's you're kind of walled off in the different areas. Oh! Oh! Whoa! 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 Fuck! I couldn't... I could not move. Oh, I'm still alive! Yeah, so you keep on getting walled off. Got one of them. Oh, Jesus, that was close. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, move, move, move. Jeez. Yeah, I walked right into it. Finally! I need to stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Piece of shit. Uh, okay, how do I return to Underhill? An access point here. Seriously, how the fuck do I get out? Am I blind? Like... So I just killed the fucking boss and now there's no way to get back. And I can't just like teleport somewhere. Oh, it's right here. Oh my god, there was another access point here the whole fucking time. Kids in a fucking candy store, you know? Okay, there's not 
something else here. So, fast travel to there. No. Because we dropped down that hole. So I actually need to go back to central research. I'm not in the mood, guys. We don't want to have to come save you. You've returned, I see. I have. But you can't see you're because your your back's to me. Eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big, angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Yeah. Her concern is touching. Seriously. Really. It's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. They managed to sneak out without the rangers noticing. How? There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Now. Or ability points. Thanks for the nice. information. My pleasure. Is it? Is it though? So, oh god, how many... God. So much shit to do! <laughs> I wanted this episode to put a dent in the side missions. All we did is, like, get more shit. So what we'll do... Oh my god, you guys want to die that badly? <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, yeah, I see ya. Hey, mold guy. Oh, that's cool. You can actually see the mold outside the thing, outside the window. Um, can I get up that high? I cannot. What's up, bro? Oh my god. head down to maintenance see if there's another mission for Mati because why not pile it on 
Um, yeah. And actually, there was a moldy area before that we couldn't pass. Um, I'm sure it's probably just a couple of items, but whatever. Might as well hit it. It's on the way. Kinda. And it's like right here. Or right by the entrance, rather. No. Be quicker, Jesse. around. Yeah, this area. Oh, shit. So that was it. Nothing else. Okay. Well. Now we know. Oh, Artie, your favorite assistant is here. Nothing? I do, Ati, I promise you. And that's the reason they can go as far as Pepe Cross. So underappreciated. Okay, so let's level up some. Yeah, let's level these guys up. Uh, launch large enemies when their health is low. Uh, launch large objects. And then we'll keep the other two. Because why not? Okay, and I think that about does it for this episode. Um, I feel like every episode ends with uh, with us in the maintenance area. But, yeah, we want to we wanna see what, like, Ati's side quests are. I, re I really like his side quests. But, yeah, sorry we didn't get to do any of the main mission, guys, but um, I wanted to get through the side quests so we can focus on the main story, and all that really accomplishes is getting more side quests. So, yeah, the next episode we'll, we'll head back into the, uh, the main mission. But thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.